And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Ugly Doll Lunacy. Now, I've already reviewed Lunacy in the past. It's a speed card game. This adds the theme of Ugly Doll, which I've never quite understood because I have yet to see an Ugly Doll that's ugly. My kids think they're cute, which then means they're not ugly. Or maybe we're taking the word back, or maybe no one cares and you just want to see how the game plays. So let's get to it. Okay, so in this game, there's two cards. This is uh, for a four-player game. If there's a three-player game, there'd be three. If there was a two-player, there'd be four. If there's a five-player, there'd only be one. So I'm showing you a, a four-player game here. And each player is going to have a handful of seven cards. And these cards are doubles-sided, having different monsters on each side. And you say go, and you simply are looking. Hey, if one of my guys matches one, I put it on that pile. Uh, okay, okay. Um, um, oh, yeah. Uh... Okay, none of mine match at this point. Hopefully someone else will play a card. So this person over here, they can't play anything either. When no one can play everything, everybody draws a card, and then you go. And if you still can't play anything, you keep doing, you're drawing cards. Eventually someone's going to get rid of all the cards in their hand, and that person wins the game. That is really all the rules of the game. You know, there's really not a lot to say here. I mean, I just explained the game to you, you know how it works. You're just going through your hand and trying to match stuff as fast as you can. There's a lot of games that do that. And for some reason, this one doesn't bother me like some of the other ones do. This one just flows. I, I didn't mind lunacy, it was quick and fast. This one, the ugly doll theme is one my kids enjoyed. They like matching the different ugly dolls and there's that whole, you sit there and you realize you can't play anything so then you're watching someone else. And sometimes you can set them up in your hand so that as soon as you see one doll, you'll be able to play this card, this card, this card, this card. And you have that ready, and then someone plays the other doll that's on that card. And you, so you match it, but then you can't do that chain reaction, you're ready to go. Or you are playing that chain reaction and someone interrupts that with one of their cards. It's silly, it's fast, it's inoffensive, works great for families. If you like the ugly doll theme, you'll like this. If you like fast card games, I mean, this game literally takes five minutes to play each time. And so... If that's something that fascinates you, this is not something I want to play all the time, but I don't mind playing a couple quick games of it here and there, especially with my kids who like this theme a lot, and just uh, who's the fastest person this time. And just because you're faster in this game doesn't necessarily mean you'll win, because you may have no cards in your hand that you can play, so sometimes you, you don't win by luck. But again, five minutes, don't care. That's Ugly Doll Lunacy. Dice Tower Judgment approved! <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Yeah. Yeah.